Resident Evil. Well, actually, it's Resident Evil. Uh, I should never do that again. Anyway, this is chapter 4-3, I think. Yeah, 4-3. And I think this is the part where I go underground to Welcome. the coal mines. Now, I don't know if I edited it out or not. I probably didn't. You're gonna sell all the useless shit you don't need, of course, which is really just items and ammo for guns you don't have. But, um... Is that old stranger? Um, Thank you. Is that old you know what? Stranger? Spoiler alert. I'm gonna upgrade some of my guns to their max, and I'm gonna trade in the Thank Punisher. Last episode, I yawn, and now I'm sneezy. I got another sneeze coming, but I'm, you know, I'm making a weird face right now. Anyway, I'm gonna upgrade this gun as far as I can get it. And I'm gonna sell the Punisher and get the Black Tail because it's about time I got the damn Black Tail. Because I need it. The Black Tail is probably the best, the best pistol in here. Even though the other one can shoot through more zombies at once, it's the it's the one that has the most power. And I'm gonna need it. Uh, I'm gonna need it. And it really just holds more ammo. So I buy it, and it has more power. It can get to two faster. Anyway, this part right here, spoiler alert, so it doesn't scare the hell out of you, there's gonna be one behind me. And he's gonna burn me alive. Ouch, there he is. And then he's gonna burn me alive again. Ouch, what the hell? And then he's gonna burn me alive a third time. If it would've got me a third time, I would have been dead. But I'm not. So as you can see, I get a lot of items right now, but I am going to run out come next chapter. And it all starts here. I run out simply because I was shooting a lot, using all my shotgun ammo, but my shotgun ammo will not be a problem once I get to the island because I will upgrade the striker and get 100 bullets. And right here I'm looking for a barrel which is usually here but I guess I'm just tripping and there is no barrel. Wow. I'm tripping. So anyway you want to throw a frag grenade, a uh, call of duty, a hand grenade and blow them all up. If you throw it right into the fire, it should kill all of them, but if not, just run back and line them all up as usual. You know the drill. Shoot them and line them up. And take them out one by one. You don't need to waste all your ammo being an idiot. Just give them some simple shots to the head. To the head. To the head. To the head. Oh, well, now I really have to shoot him in the head. Remember, to take out the parasites, you can use a flash grenade. You don't have to shoot him in the head. You could just use a flash grenade, or if you have a sniper rifle, you can just give him a nice snipe. That's even easier. But my favorite thing to do is just give him some handy hand shots around this time because I may need my flash grenades to avoid some trouble. So when you go inside this room, we got a couple of items and whatnot. Now we're going to go downstairs to the mines. And I still can't determine is this the part where I went back to sell guns did I edit that out or didn't I did I I guess I did edit that out huh. I actually edited that out but you know what it was the next chapter I did that it was the next chapter now I remember because I was I was losing everything next chapter. Well, let me tell you. By the way, um, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna start Zombies Tips and then probably play some Final Fantasy VII, which we all know is a very long game. But eh, I'm gonna play some PlayStation Classics. I thought about Wild Arms, but then again, <laughs> this well, Final Fantasy VII is way more funner, way more fun, and uh, I don't want to play any more shooters. Like, I'm going to take a little break from Call of Duty. I actually got like three more Call of Duty gameplays. I can... I think three more saved up, so... That that would be cool. What am I talking about? Anyway, so as you can see... I should have bought the other pistol sooner, because... These guys are really starting to piss me off. They won't die from a headshot. But they sure as hell get one off on me, as you can see. What the hell? So since I can't get the headshots I need, I'm going to have to upgrade guns next time. I am going to have to. 
Until then, I'm just gonna have to deal with what I got. So you're gonna wanna head downstairs and there's an item down here, a nice item for fit for a king. Shoot his head off, please do not mutate. Please do not effing mutate. All right, he didn't mutate, all right. We did it, we did it. We did it, no mutation. Holy crap. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. And you see the bear traps on the floor? You're gonna wanna shoot these bear traps. Just shoot them with your pistol or your TMP. And that guy's gonna stand there. And as you can see, there's a chainsaw guy at the top, but he's not gonna do anything until you climb the ladder, which they activated the game that way. They made the game that way. As soon as you climb the ladder, he will automatically jump down. Now, you can either fight him or run like a coward. I personally suggest that you fight him because there's, spoiler alert, two chainsaw guys here. There's one downstairs as well. So you're gonna take out this one, and the other one you can flashbang him. You know, just to get him out your way, it, it it's no biggie, really. Just give him a nice flashbang. And then you can unlock the door and get the hell out of Dodge. But first, you're going to let all of them come upstairs, because <laughs> why let him run it? Right in the kisser. Well, well actually, right in the chest. But right in the kisser. Come on. And I throw a grenade just to get a little extra damage. Pow, right in the kisses again. He's not dead yet. Die. 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 And I'm gonna let him charge at me so I can get him back on the floor. Reload, running out of ammo, but it's okay because I'm. I got like so much ammo. You're gonna see the zombie behind me in a second. Look at that. He's behind me, still walking in circles. Die. Thank you. Chainsaw guys are probably the, the only ones I really don't like. In the, in the original, what the fuck, in Resident Evil 4, because they are probably the scariest part of this whole game. I mean, in 5, it was still scary, but not, not as intimidating and scary as these mofos. Shut the hell up. Throw a I think I killed them all, so it's probably no need to throw a flash grenade, but just in case. And we're gonna grab this herb over here. I'm gonna unlock this door. Holy crap, the chainsaw guy's coming. Look at me rushing. Didn't even press the key right. And now I'm gonna run through this door. And I have a flash grenade for a reason. I didn't change back because in this room right here, there's going to be some little creepy crawly parasites. You can easily get rid of them with a flash grenade. Bang. They're dead. And now you shoot the four little red things at the top. I think you've seen this before inside the castle. Get that last one. I hate how the scene, ah, the scene like that scares me. I'm like, did I just die? No, I didn't just die. Checking for items anywhere I can. Listen to the drop of that sand. Yeah. And look at my items, guys. I am still fully stocked. And one thing that I'm going to say stocked on are health items. I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. In fact, I shouldn't run out anytime soon because I'm pretty much five steps ahead on this game always. When I get to the island, I will. there will be a part where I'm actually completely effed of all ammunition, all weapons, I am effed. But right about the time I fight Krauser, which you guys will see, I learned a hefty trick on how to beat Krauser just like that. Like, snap, just like that. An easy, easy way. Now for this part, you can really just camp with your shotgun because there's really nothing more. I mean, this pretty much explains itself. You're just gonna enjoy the ride until you get to the end of the line. The end of the line is when things speed up and you're gonna have to press some action buttons, but it's okay. Give them a kick. And there are gonna be a couple of chainsaw guys, but it's okay. If you shoot them down before they jump down, they'll fall down and they won't make it on the tro the trolley or whatever the hell these things are, the carts at all. Like what I'm trying to do now. See that? They fall down, they don't make it on at all. So that's what you should try to do. Sorry, I'm texting. Anyway, back to what the whatever the fuck we were doing. We're gonna like, collect these items and then run back. You want to stay in the first car. Don't run to the the other cars. That that's stupid. That is stupid. It's a stupid move. Stupid, 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 stupid. And I'm still trying to get organized. Just play the game, damn it, Sora. All right. Now for this part, when it stops, all you gotta do is shoot the lever again. And there's some ammo you're gonna get, but it's okay. You'll grab it really soon. That's what she said. 
Just keep shooting the lever. There you go. And grab the ammo. Holy crap. I should have just kicked him, but instead I'm just going to pull out my shotgun to get him out of my way. There you go. And the chainsaw guy, don't worry about the chainsaw guy. You don't have to really try hard him. Just keep him from jumping over. Because if he jumps over, you're going to have a big problem. And I'm still trying to shoot them down. Ah, damn it, missed him. And see, look, he's hopping over. And now my bullets are about to hop over right into his ass. See, this is so, this is so damn easy. I don't know why I haven't finished this game sooner. Probably because I just haven't been felt like playing it. Ooh. And here comes another chainsaw guy. Because they just don't get enough. They are thirsty for Leon's blood. And they should be. Because Leon is a complete, complete waste of Resident Evil character. Really, I just hate Leon. I, I miss Billy. Where's Billy? Can we have Billy back? Whatever happened to him? Is he still alive? Billy, where are you? You made Resident Evil Zero memorable. Alright, for this part, you can either shoot it or you can duck. I usually just shoot it because I really don't feel like action buttons right now. Look at my awful aim at this game. My aim on here in Call of Duty is different. Alright, and this is the part where you get to see the awful frames of this game. I'm telling you, this is a PC game. Look at this frame. Look at this. I can't even aim at them. Look at this, as soon as I aim at him, it just goes up. The frames on this game are so bad, they're good. I mean, you don't need a perfect game, but still, look how obvious it is. And this is the end of the ride, guys. You are going to jump. And you're gonna hang on, you know, tap the whole button a million times. I haven't had one of those in sequences in a while. And now we're going to, why do I keep saying that? Oh yeah, grab this item right here, and then you're all done. I will see you guys on the next chapter, which I'll probably do sometime this week, maybe Thursday or Friday. Probably. And then another Call of Duty video, and my thoughts on the new Call of Duty and why it does not impress me. I'm not saying I hate it, it just doesn't impress me. Again, if you've watched some of my commentaries, you'll know why anything that they do just will not impress me anymore. Because little do the developers know or the community, what's killing Call of Duty is them. The community is its own cancer.